The return of passenger rail service to Mobile remains up in the air. Today, the city council delayed a vote on financially supporting Amtrak. News 5's Nicolette Schleisman is in the studio to tell us why the council can't put off a vote much longer. Yeah, Pete, the council voted to push that vote back just one week to February 4th. The vote needs to happen that day because the deadline for the federal grant is February 5th. A group in support of the return of passenger rail service to Mobile formed a human train right before council to encourage council members to vote yes. I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, there are ways in which uh, if this train doesn't uh, end up uh, coming to Mobile that the city is not uh, left holding the bag uh, for the three million dollar uh, commitment. Person after person stood in front of city council today showing their support and excitement <laughs> for a train between New Orleans and Mobile. It would run twice a day with stops in Pascagoula, Biloxi, Gulfport and Bay St. Louis. Service stopped after Hurricane Katrina damaged tracks along the Gulf Coast in 2005. Mobile is asked to pay three million dollars over three years. In bringing in thousands of tourists a year to Mobile, the return on investment more than pays for itself when you look at the bigger picture. And we've proven that if we have a 1% increase in tourism, then the train becomes self-sustainable based on tax revenue. At this point, Mobile and the state of Alabama are the only entities that haven't financially committed to the project. The Southern Rail Commission says if they can't find additional funding for the project, Mobile won't be out the $3 million. And Mobile now says it still needs more time to make that decision. That there were a couple of items uh, that were lingering that the mayor's office and the administration wanted to find definitive answers for. And as of right now, they plan to put the train at the terminal, excuse me, the train terminal at Brooklyn Airfield. Now that is still under uh, discussion right now. And the Southern Rail Commission, Commission says the remaining money could come from a variety of places, including the state, county, local governments, and private sources. Reporting live in the studio, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.